Hey yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and practices of Zakazi Kikumos. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Tennis Sony Break 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009. Of course, you guys are the rest of them just channel, Dr. Carfrey, and of course, Shrevelin Season Map. If any of you are interested in this watch program, best part of all like shit. Links in the description box down below and take shots if any of you are interested in the internet business partnering marketing scheme, any of the um <clears throat> any business propaganda, any of the other type of BS, all the other type of stuff, all the shit. And without further ado, hopefully I get this right. Let's begin. And let's get into this because this is a little bit of important information we got a couple days ago, but not too long ago. So, anyways, most of you guys know already, um, Sony has um like they always do almost every year, almost every two to four years, it seems that it seems that that it's um, been kind of a little bit of a trendy thing lately. That they've been, always had their little press conferences in New York City every time. And they had it a couple days ago. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't there to see it because, you know, I missed the live stream because it was like, it was like an hour or hour and a half before I, like, I ended up getting out, out of work. So I didn't even get to see the whole thing. I didn't even get to see half of it because I totally forgot this thing was even going down at the time earlier. I think it was this past Monday or Tuesday when it was happening. And I apologize if I'm sweating profusely. It is just hot as hell in this fucking room. Apologies in advance, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, um, yeah, <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of news, lots of speculations, the speculatory things about this new Sony um, thing has been going on, which has been going on for a while already. As most of you guys know, um, I already said in a couple of my videos before, in past tense, um, I did have to delete that Sony PS4 thing that I was talking about because, like I said before, I was already getting a crap ton of um, copyright claims about, I think I got 24 of them like about a week and a half ago. Um, by my little pony French's magic spoiler alert um, videos I used to do, which I only do my criticism guy channel now. But anyways, um, yeah, I knew it was only gonna be a matter of time before they were gonna give me a copyright strike, even though it was unlisted. YouTube algorithm is not a dumbass when it comes, comes um, try to be, give give out people copyright um, strikes and stuff or community guidelines strikes. Right? So I've never had that one, but it would have only been a matter of time until I did get one. So I'm dreading that day if it ever does happen. But other than that, as far as that goes, hmm, we'll say this. <laughs> Man, Sony does not fuck around when it comes to their products, I'm telling you right now. Anyways, as long as you guys can see, I'm going to be talking about that. And um, the Sony, you know, a lot of people are saying it's a ripoff to the Microsoft Xbox One um, Elite, Elite, I'm going to say Elite Trainer Box. This isn't a Pokemon TCG on opening. The Elite um, <clears throat> Controller Box, Elite Controller yeah, Xbox Elite Controller, um, the early controller little gadget that they said it was going to be a huge ripoff and everything like that. It's unfortunate that it was. I'm surprised Sony actually ended up ripping the hell out of Microsoft with that shit. <laughs> surprised they didn't come out with their own original idea. That kind of pissed me off a little bit. But anyways, I'll be reading two articles for you guys. I was going to read one from Kotaku, but they didn't have any like recent updates on their um, site. So I got to read on these two sites, which is from Gizmodo.com and... Um, Another one I've read a couple times in the past before, The Verge. That one's for gonna be gonna be for the Xbox Elite Control. This one's just about the whole system. The PS4 Pro is now what it's officially called. So yeah, PS4, the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro are here, updated. And that's from Alex Kranz from Gizmodo.com. So shout out to Alex um, Kranz for making this <clears throat> article up. And without further ado, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy one, so bear with me. If any of you guys want to read it your, on your own time, link is down below, annotation on side, and here we go. So it says, hopefully I don't have to do a two partners, by the way, so let's begin. After months of speculation, rumors, and some excellent reporting, Sony's latest PlayStation, latest PlayStations are finally here. Sony announced the new consoles at a press, press event in the PlayStation Theater in New York City today. Oh, before I do keep going, this is totally not, um... Sony or Microsoft related, it's more a little bit of a Nintendo Game Freak related. Mainly to Pokemon. I do I did hear about that Sun and Moon um extra trailer that they did throw out there. I decided not to react to it because it's kinda like the same stuff that we saw before, except I'm just gonna go through real quickly. There's a new Alolan version of freaking Professor Oak, Samson Oak. And um we saw a little bit more of the overworld version sprites for the team at there along with um Team Skull extra new members that were all over the side, and that's all we got. Totally unrelated. I know I should be doing that in a separate video. I might do an article segment review on it in the future instead of doing a reaction review segment because it was pretty much more of the same except they showed Solgaleo or Solgaleo and Lunala in 3D. I'll still be talking about that. And then they showed the Snorlax GX card at the end too. So it's kind of like the TCG EX, EX Full Art, and then Secret Rare, but it's going to be even more 
pricier, more expensive, and harder to find with the GX. It's going to be even more, <laughs> it's going to have a higher rarity um, of a value's worth of that type of card. But anyways, let's continue on with Sony. Getting back to the Sony news. Sorry if my shirt's open and it's just hot as hell in this room. Anyways, let's continue on. <laughs> Hosting a major tech event at the same day as Apple seems like a risky move. But Sony's event was packed with journalists eager for a break from the house of house of cooking a visit from the house of Nathan Drake. The PlayStation Neo, aka the PS4.5, <clears throat> excuse me, is officially on its way. Renamed the Sony PlayStation 4 Pro, this guy has a lot of PC leveling guts in it. The hard drive is a whopping 1 TB, aka terabyte. And both the CPU and GPU have been upgraded. This sounds like this souped-up console is, is the first. It's the first from Sony to allow you to play games in 4K. That's a critical necessity as TVs with lower resolution become increasingly scarce, and PCs capable of 4K gaming become cheaper and more common. It also provides the game in HDR, which means significantly more details in areas of extreme brightness and darkness. Things. Things washed out by a pop of light or deep shadow are more visible. That said, Sony promises that the original PS4 will also be in HDR, capable via patch by the end of the month. And of course, there's little examples of pictures and everything if you want to see that yourself. Besides HDR capabilities, upscaling old games to 4K and playing newer games natively at 4K, the PS4 Pro can also play all your other content in 4K and HDR including Netflix and YouTube. All right, so I guess you can play it on this thing with YouTube gaming and everything. That's a, that's a huge ass deal, I guess. Continuing on. But the best parts of the PS4, the PS4 Pro is the forward compatibility of the current titles. The Xbox One S, Microsoft's complete console, doesn't yet have games that are capable, capable, yeah, are compatible, excuse me, with the ability of the display to display in 4K gaming and HDR. But multiple PS4 games will be available at launch to take advantage of the PS4 Pro with a simple patch. Sony promises that any developer can make their game work with pros and a minor tweak, which means that there should be no significant gap between the titles available for both the Pro and original PS4. It also provides the better looking games onto 1080p and lower resolution screens. In the sample the Sony presented, it was clearly mo more detailed on the screen, which with a character, character, character moving through weeds on the PS4 Pro that weren't present on the original PS4. The PS4 Pro will be available November 10th. Oh, so they've pushed it from November to October to November now. To right around the fucking holiday season. Holy shit. So it does say, yeah, yeah. it actually says a a little bit more extra pictures and designs if you guys want to check that out links down below like i said before get my drink really quick let's continue on once again if all the tvs in your house are only capable of 1080p or lower resolutions you don't necessarily need to worry about the ps4 pro it's amazing but maybe you're on a budget you can invest in the newly announced slimmer playstation 4 which begins shipping September 15th. Oh, that one's still coming out in September. Okay. Now I see what little Sony's marketing brand is talking about. The little market strategy bastards over there. <laughs> see you guys. <clears throat> September 15th. All right, here we go. Inside the, inside, the console is virtually identical to the current PS4 with the same ports capability of 500 GB hard drive. It's just much more smaller than the PS4. Which will, <clears throat> which made all of our eyes grow biz as big as saucers when it lumbered onto the screen in 2014, 2013, excuse me. The slim is small, smaller all around. It's half an inch narrower, the three quarters of an inch shorter, and half an inch taller. Yet the biggest and best improvements is that nothing to do with has nothing to do with size. Sony's also moved the power to eject buttons and to and made both actual buttons. All right. The original Sony PS4 has nearly invisible touch touch zones for powering it or ejecting it. A lot more accidental. A lot more of it accidental ejects than power downs. The PS4 Slim is officially 
just called the PS4. And this is available September 15th and will retail for $299. If you haven't, if you haven't purchased a Sony PlayStation and, <clears throat> and you don't plan on upgrading your TV to 4K soon, the Slim, Slim is a great and sell it deal. And hopefully I said that right because it would be kind of weird if I said that shit wrong. Let's move on. And you'll want to either, <clears throat> you, and you'll want to either, and that, that's a real ass confusing word, I'm sorry guys. And you'll want either it to be on the PlayStation 4 Pro or to use PSVR, aka Virtual Reality, the headsets, which launches in October. Sony's answer to the virtually, Virtual Reality system from HTC and Oculus could easily be the best of the bunch. While some of the technology found in Vive and Rift may be more astonishing. PSVR has a much better lineup of games and ready at launch. Sony has learned a lot of valuable, a lot of launching a video game console since the original PlayStation 21 years ago. The most important things at launch are the cool, after the cool tech are the cool games. And it goes to say updated. 4.47 Eastern Standard Time. Sony just made the specs available. Know how the GPU on the PS4 Pro is cloaked I think it says closer clock, I don't know. To be more two times faster than the original that of the original PS4. And that goes on to um, talk about the Sony PS4 and all that other stuff. You can read the rest of your own. Anyways, now let's talk about the ripoff what they did with the Xbox One con Elite Controller box. That's crazy as hell that they did that shit, but whatever. Let's get into it. So it's from see if anyone wrote this from the Verge. Oh yeah, by Chame, I'm probably going to say their name wrong unless this is their username, it says Chayam or Chame. It's one of those two. Chame or Chayam Gardenberg. So shout out to Chame Chayam Gar Gardenberg um, for making this article up. September 7th, which is like two days ago. It was a while back. So hopefully I don't have to do two partners. If I do, I apologize. Here we go. So this great team to get great results with Asani. What the hell? That's not even a one. That's something else. Forget I said that. So it says the PlayStation 4 has its own knockoff of the Xbox One Elite Controller. Let's get into this thing. Hopefully it's a lot shorter than the other one. It should be. The Xbox One Elite Controller is a beautiful piece of hardware. Piece of hardware, but if you're a PlayStation user or an Xbox owner who can't afford a $150 controller, you've been left out into the cold. But there, are, there, there may be a solution for an Elite and being PS4 user with a not at all copyright infringing <laughs> Quote unquote PlayStation 4 Elite controller from a nameless third party company. PlayStation 4 Elite controller. From what can you, <clears throat> from what can glean from the now offline target listings, <clears throat> excuse me, appear to be a heavily inspired, inspired by Microsoft's Xbox One Elite controller. It looks like a DualShockers 4 controller, but with the same rubberized grip, swappable accessories, paddles, and extremely familiar looking geometric d-pads for the microsoft high-end offer is listing also claims to be the playstation 4 elite controller which is capable which is compatible excuse me i keep saying capable i don't know why with all microsoft's own elite accessories the target websites has the price of a listing so 79.99 for november 1st release date before the page one down which is considerable which is a considerable savings compared to the Xbox One Elite, but it also a bit more than the standard. Sony made DualShockers 4, and then it says in parentheses, which sells between $45 and $60 today, depending on where you buy it, unparenthesized. The PlayStation knockoff has also appeared to lack some of the features found on the Microsoft's version, such as the user programmable button mapping and metal components. But if you're a PS4 owner, who aspires to join the gaming elites, the PlayStation 4 Elite Elite Controller should get you there, at least in the name. So overall thoughts, views, and opinions, I'm going to talk about the PS4 Elite Controller thing. Like I said before, I'll say it again, I don't know what the hell Sony was thinking. They're absolutely out of their fucking minds for doing this shit, seriously. I don't guys name what they're doing this crap for, literally. How in the freaking hell did they get away with this and Microsoft didn't end up like giving them like some fucking DCMI or DMCA type of like copyright notice and they were gonna see the crap out of Sony for doing that. Unless, 
Sony made like some secret behind the doors deals with Microsoft saying, hey, listen, Microsoft, maybe we'll like, this is like one of the Sony president's VP, Asian white dudes out over there saying this. It's like, oh, listen, like Microsoft, we really, really, we enjoy and admire like your beautiness and like the amazement for the um, Xbox One, Xbox One Elite controller. So we were wondering, we're just pandering the thought a little bit. Would it be okay if we borrowed some of your features and then Microsoft, maybe they paid them almost a million, maybe a billion freaking dollars, something dollars of money, um, finances to Microsoft. And they said, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. Go ahead and take it. You gave it for the right price. It's all yours now. Your Our design is totally yours. Unless they did it without that permission, they're going to be some hot ass water very, very soon. And Microsoft's not going to be too happy with that, um, <laughs> with that, with that like familiarized design that they were the original ones that actually had that idea. Even though I'm not a real big Xbox Microsoft fan or whatever, when it comes to a lot of their games, I'm not. I mean, I, I uh, granted, I'm very, very, I actually do like the nice looking console design that they have and everything. I'll admit it. But it's just a lot of their games I'm not really, really too fond of very much. Very few games I actually like in that system. Not very many. But anyway, so it's probably like a handful, and that's pretty much it. About 10, 20% at least. Other than that, now let's get back to the Sony. Um, actually, no, let me talk about one more thing about the Elite console. It kind of looks like, just like, um, shout out to Stone Fox Media and a couple other people that have mentioned it. It looks like a little um, off, the, off the grind. I was going to say off the grind. <laughs> It looks like the off-the-brand type of companies that like that are for like Mad Cats or like the NeoGAF type of things or whatever. Not NeoGAF. That's that's a video gaming console like article um, article company. My bad. <laughs> for journalists and shit. It kind of looks like some of those Mad Cats or like some old school. If any people remember the Neo Geo Pocket or like if any people remember the Nokia like old school um <laughs> those old school like cell phones that used to have like the BlackBerry features and everything. On it. That's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit, except in a video game controller um, environment type of um, designer feature. That's what it looks like to me personally. And it kind of looks like crap a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It kind of does. I really, really wish they would have their own different design. They, they, they have so many freaking thousands, maybe millions of people work for the Sony company. Not just including the gaming division part for it, but holy crap. They could have came out with so many different customary design styles for this thing. It's like how Nintendo comes out with their fa faceplate things for their um, Nintendo 3DS and new, new Nintendo 3DS XLs. We don't even know what the hell the NX is going to be like. And I still haven't done any NX, um, NX videos in about over two weeks, I want to say, give or take. It's been a little while since I've done one of those. And um, we still don't know what the hell that thing's going to look like. I have a feeling it's probably just going to look like the tablet I just threw out, but a lot bigger. It's probably like the size of this thing, but it's going to be like 8.2 inches or something from what I heard. But I'm not talking about Nintendo right now. But that's really all I got to say about the Sony thing. Shame on them for stealing the crap out of Xbox One's um, Microsoft um, Microsoft Elite Controller Boss. Because that's a little bit of a kick in the balls there. If they didn't get Microsoft permission to do that. Unless they did, of course. They, they, made, they made like um, under the table to behind closed door meeting type of um, exchangements. As far as that goes. Then they got every single right to do that. Then. But if they didn't, like I said before, I'll say it again. They're going to be in freaking hot ass water. If they ended up stealing that idea from Microsoft immediately. As far as um, the whole console goes all together, PS4 Pro, obviously, like, for me, the design, it actually still looks nice as hell. looks a lot better compared to the Elite Control, Elite Control Boxer. I don't even know how the fuck to say that goddamn word. Can I fucking talk? I don't know why. Uh, it looks a lot better than the Sony PS4 Pro um, Elite Controller compared to how, how a lot of their other companies look like. I don't even know. Not companies, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. What is it? Not their companies. Their consoles. That's what the hell I wanted to say. And it's funny because they always come out with the Slim right before it. They end up putting it with the PS Pro Slim before the original, um, not the original, the newer one comes out, PS4.5K, k aka Neo. It's no longer called that. Now it's called the PS4 Pro. Should have just called it Professional for, um, not for short, but just a more sophisticated look, in my personal opinion. That's what it looks like. That's really all I got to say about it. And that's it. Hopefully they come up with good ass games in that. Et cetera, et cetera. And that's it. Links in the description box down below. Annotation on side. If you guys want to read these um, articles in your own time, I'm done here. Peace out once again. Bros and members of Pegasus. We'll talk as you can. We'll see you next time. You guys have a good night wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take that reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it left out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be do it yourself. Peace out. My sauerkraut. I'm not going to get that out of here. 
Stay tuned for more future content on the channel. Stay tuned for more updates. And of course, stay safe for everyone. Stay tuned more future commentary on this. Um, and of course, content on this channel such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news. And of course, anime manga review segments and article review segments on this side of the room, along with my anime um, reaction review segments and my overhyped review segments, re reaction review segments on that side of the room as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace out, lates. And I will talk to you guys soon. Later.